Hi guys, this is Naidu from Great Online Training. I'm a SaaS trainer and as well as programmer. So today I'm going to explain five tips before starting off your SaaS training. So this video will help to the real beginners who want to start their course on SaaS field, SAS field. Most of the people have the question about how to learn this course through online. I'll clearly explain the things like uh, uh, what student need to do to become a, a good SaaS programmer to get the job in the market. The tip number one here, train a student interaction. So just imagine you have joined it somewhere to take the training. The trainer always should be an interactive person. Tra the trainer should always ask the questions to making sure everything the student can able to understand what he is explaining. The student and trainer interaction always plays an important role to get interest to learn that course well. If the trainer is not at all good and he is not interacting with the student, then the, again the question will be like uh, always you will be in a keep quiet as a student and uh, the topic will be somewhere and you are your brain is roaming somewhere so that is a completely waste like anything we can say so be always a interactive uh, interactive person in the class itself and try to ask more questions and try to ask the doubts and stop at each and every point at a when trainer is explaining if you are not clear and do that okay when you are having some doubt uh, just stop there and ask that question to the trainer and get that uh, doubts clear and then only proceed for the next and wherever you join compulsory the trainer and student interaction should be there so then only that is the best place uh, where you can learn your course uh, uh, that is my second tip uh, of this my video I'm just trying to explain if you just take this particular funny examples I'm just giving here to making sure everything clear to the students. Like if you are taking this is a course umbrella. In the course umbrella, here most of the SaaS programmers and as well as trainers, what they do to their students is they are going to cover SaaS base and SaaS advance. Wherever you go, so they are going to cover this SaaS base and SaaS advance. But whereas coming to the as a job perspective or else if you want to get a good jobs in the market so this is not only the thing you need to learn you need to learn some extra things like a real-time project compulsory you need to have some real-time project and once you're done with the training and everything compulsory you need to have a good resume in your hand so making sure that the trainer is going to explain or else preparing the resume for you also. Making a good CV is enough to get the good job in the market. So one, always whatever you are keeping into those resumes, that resume, uh, making sure everything you should know. The things which you don't know in that resume, don't keep it as a pro, uh, student. Okay, this is all about the process once you done with your training you make sure that uh, resume preparation should be available at a trainer place second thing is the clinical stuff most of the people having a, not having a programming background so compulsory they need to know that uh, what exactly the clinical SAS programmer do as a real-time concepts and uh, real-time scenarios nowadays the people is asking for C disk clinical data interchange standard consortium so that means this is one special concept the trainer need to cover and SDDM study data tabulation models ADAMS analysis data models and TLFs tables listings figures generation when you are looking into the total slide now so total SAS base, SAS advance and real time project and resume preparation and clinical stuff like all the phases like a clinical phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4 concepts and as well as CDISC, SDDM and ADAM and TLF generation should be uh, covered in this course wherever you join as a student to learn the SAS. 
so making sure that if you are learning only if you learn sas base and advanced and you you finish with the training just imagine then that means uh, you are just uh, helpless in the time so because whenever you are applying for a resume and then whenever you are applying for any job compulsory they are going to ask all these questions like cds sddm adam and tlf generations everything okay so if you are going for sas clinical and as well as financial wherever you go so sas base and advanced with real time project and resume preparation should be available at trainer place so this is the third tip in my video do the practice until get the job as a student always you need to do the practice when you join in sas course the reason behind that is sas is not a, a theory part it's all like a practical part that means you need to do some programming to get some outputs and all those things so to make sure that always do some practice put at least half an hour time every day to do the practice of your sas uh, sas whatever the trainer is teaching to you just uh, compulsory you need to do the practice just imagine if you don't do practice the everything whatever you have learned it is going to be collapse like anything my kind suggestion the student already learned course and don't lose the hopes until to get the jobs keep on trying 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 at one point of time you will get a good chance to get the jobs so this is all about my third tip in my video this is the fourth tip of my video like don't forget to do the sas certification it's a sas certification in the sense uh, mainly we have sas base sas advanced and uh, sas clinical and as well as uh, business analyst also so these are the certifications you will be eligible to do certification the reason behind that is this certification if you done with your certification uh, this will help you to get the jobs good jobs in the market so it will this certification will give a good weight to your resume when, uh, whenever you are approaching uh, to the any interview or anything so making sure that always you need to do the certification sas base once you done with the sas base then you can go for advance or else once you done with sas base then you can go, jump into the clinical sas certification and then you can go for advance but if you want to do the advanced sas certification compulsory you need to do the base sas certification is must business analyst certification it's your wish how you want to proceed it but making sure that whatever the topics the trainer is going to cover should clear the certification all the certification should clear the base sas certification advanced sas certification and clinical sas certification also and don't neglect to do the certification certification will be playing a important role in your resume be a knowledgeable person always okay once you done with the training and now you are well known about the sas and all those things but try to read some books good books we can say uh, some of the books like we have many good books for sas so i'm just explaining few of the things which i like so that is a sas programming guide and as well as little sas book this certification preparation guide and sql procedure user guide and sas macro language these are the books is very important uh, uh, like uh, it will give you knowledge, knowledge like anything to the student be always knowledgeable person always you need to make sure so that uh, you need to keep on reading some books uh, until get the job once you get the job also to refer a few of the things so always you need to read some points and try to set something in the google to try to learn some new concepts like that concepts which are not covered by the trainer that's no issue so see the sas is like a ocean like anything if some of the things has not covered the trainer in point of view so that things you want to learn more then making sure that those things you need to learn it from google itself okay so sas guys they have developed their website like anything it's like a user friendly you can read the things and you can understand 
so this is all about uh, my video so to explain to this uh, SAS real beginners uh, they, they can able to understand uh, of these things so the five tips include trainer student interaction was trainer cover the total course to get the job to the practice until get the job don't forget to do SAS certification be a knowledgeable person always thanks guys thanks for watching my video if you like my video just give a like and write the comments so if you have any doubts or any questions you can contact to us so thank you